Welcome to My Opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And we look again at another story, disturbing story, that we would want to rid our country of. And it was a double murder in Trenchtown on Sunday evening that cost the life of a 16-year-old student of Charlie Smith High School and a 23-year-old man was killed a couple meters away. Now, we all understand that there's a turf war taking place between 3rd Street and 4th Street in Trenchtown. And this is the cause. This is the reason for the death of the 16-year-old Rashida Hall. Rashida Hall, 16-year-old of Charlie Smith High School, was gone down on Sunday evening along with Elvin James. According to the police, at about 6.40 p.m., Hall and James were in the community when they were attacked by armed men traveling in a motor car. Both, both were shot multiple times. The police were summoned and the two were taken to hospital where Hall was pronounced dead. James later succumbed to his injuries. Now, Rashida Hall mom said that all she did was send Rashida to wash up some plate for her grandmother. It then cost her life. Inner city communities especially these communities that are known for violence, is not a safe place for kids anymore. One minute they could be going down the road to shop, one minute they could be going across the street to their grandparents or their aunt or their cousin, and the next minute they, they don't return. Based on how these garrisons are set up sometimes, is like, you have to cross the street to go over your auntie, cross the street to go over your, 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 your uncle, and all these things. So if your mother send you from your house to go to your uncle, the very younger might just live a minute away, you know. The very minute you left the house and go across the street, you could be dead. And I'm not talking about motor vehicle accident or natural causes. Warring fractions start to shoot at each other and but at the end of the day you know what a child is caught in the midst of it and end up losing their life they said there's a frustrating ongoing gang war between third street and fourth street and you know what is so wicked about this it has caused the life at least five females within a one year period that is what the residents are saying. So clearly, this war is escalating tremendously in Trenchtown and something has to be done about it because innocent persons are losing their lives. Senior Superintendent Michael Phipps of the Kingston Western Division said the area has been plagued by activities of warring Sox and Brooklyn gangs. Now, I was I heard one, the member of parliament, Mark Golding, saying the police have to do what they have to do. And the police must do, the police know the players, and the police must do all he can do to rid the community of these players. But as one YouTuber says, and I agree with him, and I call his name here, Sir P, is a man that I listen to, and is a man that I take a lot of cues from too. And I have to say kudos to him here, on my opinion tv but as he said the politicians are the ones who sit in the house of parliament who draft the laws they are the ones who can do a lot about what is taking place his party also voted against um some zozo and some state of emergencies now persons in that community are fearful to give the police information now he as a politician, he should be privy with all those information and he should know the players are. But that's not for me. I ain't going to de dwell on that. I will just give you my opinion as it relates to 
why these young kids are being taken away by these stupid gangsters who are, who are heartless, who have no real purpose on earth, no real reason to be living, and they go around creating mayhem. And the sad part of it, the children are the future and they are the ones being taken out. And to make matters worse, as I just read just now, is that at least five females have been lives have been snuffed out because of these violence in these communities. The, there's no respect for kids and women anymore. And these communities, when the police go inside these communities and apply force, a lot of persons come out and demonstrate. A lot of persons say the police are wicked and the police are this. But at the end of the day, they are losing their, their, their fellow residents because of stupid violence, stupid turf, turf war. Look how close these streets are. 3rd Street and 4th Street. So it simply means somebody from 3rd Street maybe can't go across the road. Somebody from 4th Street cannot go across the street. Because they, they, might, they might be killed. Sad, but we hope the police will find the perpetrators of this. And we hope they'll be brought to book. And we hope the family of Rashida Hall will find peace and solace at this time. Our sincere condolences goes out to the family. And we hope that the perpetrators will be brought to book and that's very soon these guys will be put away i can't wait for the day to return we're hanging take center stage in jamaica a lot of these woodlums would think twice when they commit acts like these but let me know what you think in the comment section don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell and if you have not subscribed yet, keep on telling your friends and click that subscription button as you help this channel grow. Until next time, be safe and always keep it locked on My Opinion TV.